This is a quick video on the Kenmore dryer. This is the uh, Kenmore 90 plus series. And the problem was when I would press and hold, I would have to press and hold the push to start switch in order for it to run. And uh, when you let go, it would just stop. So um, after a lot of diagnostics, first of all, when you open this up, when you first open this up, you'll see, you should see this inside. And it's basically a little baby service manual and it's very informative. So what I did is I went through and I did all the tests and it has a factory test and all kinds of diagnostics you can do. And the conclusion I came up with was that this board was bad. It's called the uh, even, heat, uh, even Heat Control Board. And uh, through doing some research and uh, also doing component testing, I found out that these three uh, Zener diodes were bad. These are uh, 16 volt uh, Zener diodes. And there's three of them, uh, D002, D009, and D005. And I ordered these diodes, but for the meantime, in order to get it to run, I went on Craigslist and I found a person that sold used dryers and used washer machines. So I thought who better to get a board from. Um, so just temporarily I got a board. The problem was that the board was not co totally compatible with this model. Now the original model number of the board is, let's see if you can see that here, uh, 3402605. And if you look in this, this little manual here, it gives you that uh, 3402605's uh, even heat control assembly board. Um, now, if you order the board, it comes with um, a wiring harness and a relay. Now, if you look at my relay, this one is a 48 volt relay, and then this one over here is a 120 volt relay. Actually, it's a very nice, high quality, made in Japan relay. It's a shame I'm gonna have to take it out, and I'm gonna tell you why in a moment. Um, so anyway, the, the way it used to be designed was to use a 120 volt relay here for the motor and then use a 48 volt controlled relay for the heat. Um, and the newer boards uses a 48 volt relay and it, it wouldn't work. So I put the board in and it wouldn't work. Um, the guy had a uh, relay for me, so I got a relay. And I'm going to show you how to modify your wiring if, if you don't if you don't get it online, here I'll show you. If you don't get it online and you just get a used board someplace. Now, uh, let's see. Here you go. See that wiring harness it comes with? So there's the board. Oh, that says they're out of stock, but there, see the wiring harness and a relay? If you open up your dryer and you notice that this relay is different than this relay, that means you have the older style that uses a 120 volt relay. So if you get a board, make sure you get a relay. Now, if you don't get this fancy wiring harness, I'm going to show you how you can modify it. Um, now, this board is showing that it's 188. Uh, 50. Now, if you get it from Sears, you can get this board from Sears too. Let's see. Now again, my model is um, the 110.689.42890. And if you go to sit, look, scroll down to part 13 in uh, Sears website, there it is, 226.54. Uh, the old part number was 3402605. The new part number is 279903. Um, the price is 226.54 and they don't have a core exchange, so that's what you pay. The problem is, is I don't know if this comes with the, um, the wiring harness or not. So, oh, it does actually. So there's the picture. So there's the wiring harness and there's the relay. So the problem was that the, this relay won't work anymore. So you need to use this relay, um, the 48 volt relay. So what you do is you have to rewire it. Now you find the 120 volt line that's um, gonna be coming into the relay here and you disconnect it. And I disconnected it and I put black tape on it, as you can see here. And then what you do is you can still use the other wire that goes to the even heat control board over here. Um, you still can use that wire. Um, and then what I did temporarily is I put a jumper from the 48 volts from this relay to uh, this relay. 
so it's using 48 volts for the relay. And the control to turn the, the motor on and off comes from uh, this connector here. Um, it is, uh, what is that connector number? <laughs> I'm sorry, hang on one second. Okay, it's PS02 and uh, pin seven. So PS02, pin seven, this is the trigger for the motor. So that one is going to the relay here, as you can see. And then the other um, wire was the 120 that you disconnect. And if you get the one with the board, it, it will tell you, it has instructions, it will tell you to disconnect it and tape it off or whatever. Um, but you have the new harness that works perfectly. Also, on the old relay was, it looks like a starter capacitor. I didn't see this on the uh, new board or new relay or anything, so I just took it off and it seems to work fine without it. Um, so anyway, um, I tested uh, this and I put a jumper wire temporarily. The plan is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this wire off, this 120 volt they used to go to, I'm gonna cut it off, I'm gonna put a butt connector on it and then I'm gonna put a butt connector, or actually I'm just gonna um, solder these wires together and possibly put a butt connector on here. So if I, when I do fix this board, I can always go back to it if I want to and I just swap the wire out. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here but yet, but you'll see when I'm done. I'll show you, but um, let me show you, it works now. On time dry. That's it. So you can see that it works. So what I'm going to do is take that relay out, put this one in, and permanently wire it, and we'll see what happens. Okay, first of all, let's get out the old relay. It's a shame. As I said before, it's a really nice, high-quality Japanese relay. Up. There's the old relay. You can see, let me give you a close up. You can read it. Focus, focus, focus. There you go. So then we're going to throw this new relay on. Well, new to me anyway. And make sure you have the power off and make sure you know what you're doing. I forgot to uh, say before that I am not responsible for any damage you may cause to yourself or your house or fires or anything. So these two blue wires are the switch. This is common and the switch and the normally closed is uh, not even there, but it's normally open and it's the common. And here's my temporary wire and I'm gonna use this better quality wire. And uh, of course, make sure you have the power off. And then you find where it goes down to here. You can see that it splits right here. It just splits off right there. So what I'm gonna do, make sure you got the right one, like so. And then just uh, cut it. And then pull it out. Then I'm going to take some uh, heat shrink tubing. And I don't need one very big. This should do. I always like to pinch them off. Just gotta be careful, it's really hot. Okay, so that's the old wire, that's taken care of. And then here's the wire we're stealing from it. I couldn't find any butt connectors actually, so what I'm gonna do is find the wire you have the, the jumper going to. Um, well, you can test it, it won't work. It's going to the second one on the connector. Um, 
on PS3, the second uh, wire down, uh, pin two, PS3 pin two, that's the one I found works. So, make sure, yes, then just cut it like so. And then get rid of the jumper. That was just for testing purposes. And it's not high amperage enough. Plus it can fall off and all kinds of stuff. So just strip that. Strip that. Strip this. Tie them together. Now the wiring harness basically that you get with it, um, it does the same thing. It just splits it off from what I understand. I haven't seen it yet, but that's what the nasty rumor is on, e on the online, on the forums and such. A little bit of solder, like so. There we go. And then just grab a little bit of uh, heat shrink tubing. A little bit of bigger one this time. Oh. Make sure you get it down far enough. Like so. Then just hook it back up to here, to the relay. Okay, so that's gonna trigger the relay now. Tuck that there. Okay, so the 120 is cut off. And um, if I ever need it again, I'll just uh, resolder it and uh, heat shrink it. Um, if I decide to put the old board back in. Uh, I did order diodes, so. I ordered five for, I'm, I'm sorry, five dollars for like a hundred, so. Send me your board, maybe I can fix it for you. Oh, by the way, this says converted to 3978955R, uh, says remanufactured, I assume, um, and there's an A there. Whatever this means, I have no idea. Um, perhaps someone that knows could contact me or leave a comment below to say what the difference are between these boards and when they started making the changes. Uh, my board, my old board said 1997 on it up here, the 1996 down here. Um, this board is also FSP, date code 4, 4, it's upside down. I can't read upside down very good. 41-01, whatever that means. Maybe 2001, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, it also has an extra set of connectors up here that I have no use for, so I don't know. But this board does work. Um, make sure all your connectors are tight. Also, while you're doing this, um, and you, you're doing the diagnostics and so on and so forth, go underneath and clean out all the dust and dirt and just clean everything up. It's a good opportunity to, to clean and to make sure everything, all the connectors are tight and everything. So go ahead and do that. Um, so we got that done. We got this 48 volts going here. The trigger wire is going here for this relay for the motor. And then this is the heater motor. And uh, this is your push to start switch. 
This is your signal switch, you know, that makes the buzzing sound. Uh, this is the uh, wrinkle guard switch, and this is the fabric temperature switch, and this, of course, is your timer. Now, um, just don't need a starting iron anymore. I got a little bit of something right there. Our insulation, there we go. Make sure the ground wire is okay. You know, I don't like that. I don't like how that's really loose, so I'm just gonna push that in a little bit. Loose connections can cause problems. I like it good and tight. That's good, that's good. go flip the breaker and I'll be right back okay the breakers flipped breaker guard off low heat there we go you want to see what it looks like down below you can see I cleaned it up and you can see the heat on and it will cycle on and off at least it should This model, um, I, you can access through the front, and there's a couple uh, clips for this cover right here. So you just take a screwdriver and you push down this clip on each side, and then you tilt the panel out, and the panel will come out. But on my model, you can access everything from the front. But I saw on YouTube, there's some of people have different model where um, you have to access it through the rear. Now, I took this off. There's one screw there, and there's one screw over here. And pull the filter out and get this off and clean everything up um, and then clean up down here vacuum all the debris um, but there's some uh, there's some stuff you'll need access down here the thermistor the mister and uh, thermal overload and various other components you need to test but you'll see the heat cycle on and off but uh, yeah just clean everything up put it back together but, uh, I smelled some burning smell because it was burning dust where this uh, heating element is so took care of that. Make sure that you open the front door, turns off, and then, and then when you switch it to air, you hear the relay click, and you won't see the heater on. And then as soon as you turn it back on, you hear the relay click, and you'll see it heat up. You'll see it start to glow momentarily. There it is, there's the glowing. You flip the heat back off. Now it's on air. Now back to low. That's where I normally use it is low. Now a lot of people complain about the design of this board. Um, and you know what? I you know I can't really say too much bad about this board. I mean, it did last 19 years. This is the first time in 19 years that this has ever broke. So you know, I'll take that. That's that's not bad. This washer machine too. Um, I've had it a pair for 19 years. So it's a whirlpool, made by whirlpool, but the Kenmore 90 plus series props. It's really good. Um, just replace those diodes and you'll be back in business or just grab another board and you may have to convert it but I just wanted to show you um, if you do find a used board local make sure you get a relay too uh, just in case uh, or check to see if the one they're taking the board from has the 48 volt relay or the 120 relay and then just rewire it like I showed you and you'll be back in business so that was a repair of the Kenmore 90 series plush uh, plus dryer